Hello everyone, welcome to Dan Life at Yard River, and let's move to my channel. Today is still February 2nd, Ford Bill of today, and I'm done. I'm gonna have some delicious, delicious roast. I know, I'm making it seem like it's, it's made it way more tastier and um, spectacular than it's supposed to be. It's just roast, but um, roast can you know, take up to four hours, could be take take hours to eight hours, could be take up to twelve hours. The more slow cooking you do it, oh man, gets so nice and tender. And like I said, I want to go check it and kind of and not like really basting it, trying to put a little bit of water on top of it. I mean, on top to get dry and stuff. I even flipped it up upside down. So I actually done I done that really a couple times earlier. Really. Yes, I did. No, no. Oh, I had to, yes, yes, yes. I flipped upside down once, second time, and did it one more time. But this time the veggies are all nice and cooked, so kind of the veggies aren't going to eat the roast now. But then it would get the, get the juices going, so there's no dry spots, and yum, 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 yum. But, uh, I don't know, let's, let's talk about other stuff. Let's, let's, just, the topic, well, hold on a second. Topic is about food. I, normally I don't want to talk about food unless, unless it's like, oh, I just want to have breakfast or brunch or lunch or uh, supper or snack or this, uh, had this at this place or that place. And I normally don't want to talk about food. But usually roast, if it's pork or beef, pork, beef. Yeah, corn, pork or beef roast. We always slow cooking it. Sometimes we do it on like a, a slow boil too. And give it nice and soft and tender and tasty and delicious. And it always have, you know, veggie stone in there and spuds and, you know, whatever we have left out of there, taking the veggies and the roast out of there, making that, the juices left over, make a nice delicious gravy out of it. But, um, yeah, that's, and what is, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about the roast right now, I'm not talking really about that roast. Sometimes you can uh, put a little, little bit of the honey on there, or a little bit of maple syrup, or, I, I don't know, I don't know what else would anybody would probably put on there. Maybe like a cherry sauce, I don't know. But I have had delicious roasts one time. I had delicious turkeys, delicious, you know, uh, rotisserie chicken was good. Um, what else? I just had it on my brain. Oh, roasted duck. Oh, man. Um, I had, like, veal, too. I missed the taste of veal. It's been a long time. It is expensive, and when I had a landlord at that time, there was where I lived, I think it was like 2005, 2006, right around there. Veal was so delicious. I was so happy to have meals like that. Never had veal until that time, and he was giving up tons of this stuff. It was tons of it. And it's a shame to see that the food kind of go to waste, even though, like, a, before I even got around, or even after I left. It's shameful. But I even had goat leg, um, lobster, crab, caviar. I don't even remember what the taste of caviar is more, but even escargot is good. Sometimes, like, sandwiches and stuff. But anyway, um... Delicious roast is still cooking up. It's smelling so good. Uh, I just heard a cousin go walk by and somebody else just walked by. I don't think the camera picked up, but it's walked by to probably check on the thing. And I, it's probably going to be uh, done um, maybe 15 minutes, I'm guessing. Because he's going to do whatever, whatever else he's going to do. Um, even though there was chunks of spuds with the roast, my cousin wanted me to do these other spuds, which is sweet potato. 
spuds. Peel the crap out of that before I've done video logs and let them sit for a bit. And I guess I started the boil log vlog before, like after, uh, between the first and second vlog, I did the boil of that. And like this is slow boil, so when he comes back around, it'll be either just about done or done or half done. And he can continue from there. So it's probably going to be boiling for another 15 minutes or so, whatever it is going to be. And we're going to have sweet potatoes. I forgot I forgot he had sweet potatoes in. So I'm, it was easy to just peel the crap out of this. Like, just Because they're, they're, they're long enough, so peel, 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 peel. Wash it up. Slice, 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 slice. Throw in the pot. Peel, 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 peel. Slice, 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 slice. I'm not going to tell you all the different uh, details of it. It's just like... It's like peeling a potato, regular potato, and slicing up, but... All I know is it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Now, I've never had sweet potato pie. I've heard it was pretty good. I've had yams and sweet potato and squash. Not those. But not all, this, all at the same time, though. It's always been at different times. Like squash and sweet potato are usually around uh, Thanksgiving, Easter, around there. But I've never had sweet potato pie. No, I don't think I've ever. I don't, I don't know. I, I haven't. I know that. So, um... Other than that, um, not really much more to talk about except for delicious roast is coming up. Mm -hmm, delicious roast. I know I make it sound really good, like it's really spectacular and stuff, but... This is roast, and when you're hungry, you're hungry. Uh, that's that's another down thing to decide their their downsides. Another um, the do's and don'ts. Don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry. You end up buying stuff you don't really need. But now me, I stick to I, I've been sticking to my budget. There's my budget's only like it's like fifty bucks at the most, and that's usually the, what the budget is. You know, like say four years ago, in the past couple of years, it's been. 60 75 dollars maybe 100 bucks this day this year this year it should be at least 75 dollars and up to 100 bucks and i had to do without for a little bit because i don't really have the money put my money on the bills and i know i'm going to be going up to some hungry days because i just got mostly bread and butter I do have the mock chicken, you know, that is not even thought of yet. But, um, I do have the brick cheese, no sliced cheese, I couldn't get that. No hamburgers, no s sausages, no hot dogs, no chicken burgers, no fries, no soups, cans, and whatever else I could name. I just don't really have the money. I'm just trying to keep up with, uh, keep, keep up with bills. The bills will be all nice and caught up next month, and I am not going to do without. I'm going to have some chicken burgers on the menu. On the menu, I mean, on the grocery list on the menu. Yeah. You guys know what I mean, anyway. But, uh. That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't know if I'm sitting too close to the thing. I'm kind of sliding a little bit. I've got, um, I've got a, a slippery um, comforter, and I don't have the afghan too much on it. Usually I have the afghan on top of it, so I'm not sliding too much. <coughs> but what to say, what to say, um... much more to say on that. So that's going to be a lot to eat. There's going to be roast, there's going to be spuds, there's going to be three kinds of veggies, there's going to be gravy, there's going to be, um, I thought it was going to be this potatoes, like mashed potatoes, but that was sweet potatoes. A little bit of gravy on that's not bad too. 
So sweet potatoes and pie and cheese and powdered drink is really all I can think about now. That's let's add on that. But I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. Just think about all that good, delicious stuff, you know. It's gonna be good, delicious stuff. That's that's all I gotta say about that, you know. So I know, I know that's all I've been talking about is this roast. But like I said, when you're hungry, you, you, you're you hungry, you know. It's, I, I don't know, there's not really much more to talk about. I just, let's try to move on a little bit. Did I crack my elbow again? No. But I don't know, I love my camera actually sees my cat. She's having a little bath, sitting in the middle of the bed, in the middle of the bed, having a little bath. She's relaxing, doing stuff. She just doesn't really care about, um, say, like, I throw a piece of ham or a piece of mock chicken or a little bit of roast or regular chicken or anything. But she likes the tuna, tuna chunks, uh, salmon chunks, uh, and, you know, juices and stuff. So I try to, you know, switch it back and forth, you know, give him the little bit of juices and... I try to give her the little bit of um, salmon juices, a little tiny tuna juices, or give my other cat a little bit of salmon juices and, or tuna juices, and try to go back and forth, you know, so I don't kind of favor, you know, I'm usually the fat cat, and he's usually there, and he's bugging me, and he wants a little bit of something from what, what I'm eating. A lot of times I'll have grapefruit, hey, here cat, you want some of that? Delicious, good stuff. And he'll like still his nose it and look it away. And he knows I'm chopping, doing stuff, he knows I'm doing something else, and he'll be scratching at the at the uh, freezer, and I'm like, oh, well, okay, I'll show him onions or something, it's like different times, and he doesn't want nothing to do with that, he wants other stuff, and there's times that he, he'll almost like take my sandwich, like pull the meat out of my sandwich, call him a time or two, but I'm at the end of this video now, guys, so if you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button, please subscribe to me, make sure to be on the channel, my benefit you, my benefit for me. Please do tell your friends and family. Thank you for being this video. Tell you guys watch it. Hope you all nice, have a nice day. It's morning and night. And remember, it's better be Aboriginal than original. But roast.